Welcome to the Roland Lock M Series and A Series installation video. This video will provide a step by step guide to installing your new cover on a 2015 Chevy Silverado or GMC Sierra. In order to complete this installation, you'll need several tools besides the hex keys that come packaged in your hardware bag. You'll need a medium flat blade screwdriver, number two Phillips head screwdriver, a 7 16 inch wrench or socket, and a measuring tape. A cordless screwdriver or drill with number two Phillips bit will be helpful for installing the self-tapping screws. However, do not use a power drill for installing any other screws on your rolling lock as you'll strip or damage the heads. If your truck has a plastic drop-in bed liner, please see step 1A in the printed installation guide, as your bed liner will probably require some trimming. Most spray-in bed liners pose no installation problems. Let's get started. First, carefully remove your roll and lock retractable cover from its packaging and ensure that all the required parts are included. If you run into any issues or feel you might be missing parts, please call Roll and Lock Customer Service at 800-952-7655 and speak to one of our product experts. Step 1. You must first remove the factory tie-downs on each side at the front of the bed. These interfere with placement of the roll and lock housing, and the tie-down holes are used to secure the housing flanges. Use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the tie-downs, working the unit out through the hole. There's no need to remove the rear set of tie-downs near the tailgate. Step 2. Next, you'll install the housing support brackets that provide extra strength and rigidity to the roll and lock as it rests on the truck's bed ribs. Start by collecting all the necessary parts from the hardware bag. Then insert the one inch bolt through the hole in the housing support bracket and attach the flat and plastic washers as well as the threaded tang. Once the housing support bracket is fully assembled, insert the threaded tang into the bed hole that was exposed after removal of the tie down in step one. Tighten the bolt with a 7 16 inch wrench or socket while ensuring the housing support bracket is perfectly level with the top surface of the truck's bed rail. Next, mold the butyl strip provided in the hardware bag into the gap between the housing support bracket and the truck's bulkhead. This will prevent water from entering through the gap. Repeat these steps on the other side of the truck. Step 3. Carefully lift the roll and lock housing onto the bed rails of the truck making sure the housing is set exactly in the center of the truck bed. It's recommended that you double check the positioning of the housing by measuring the distance between the edge of the housing and the end of the bed rail on either side. Step four, remove the Phillips head screws located on either side of the lid. Upon removal of these screws, slide the lid toward the bulkhead and remove it by lifting up. Step five, Collect the CB track brackets, tangs, and washers from the hardware bag and assemble the parts as shown here. Insert the fully assembled CB track bracket into the bed hole closest to the tailgate and hand tighten the bolt, leaving the track bracket loosely positioned. If you'd like to install your cover without a locking tailgate extrusion, refer to the supplemental installation video and follow the instructions provided. Then resume this installation video at step 11. Step 6. Ensure that the pull strap is secured to the front of the housing. Then rotate the lock clockwise in order to release the latches. Slide each track into position, ensuring that the pieces align. Step 7. Secure the track to the housing by threading the screw through the pre-punched holes and into the cargo nut. Step 8. Loosely attach each of the bed clamps. Depending on your bed length, you may have four or six bed clamps. 
You'll tighten these later in steps 11 and 12. Step 9. Next, you'll attach the tailgate extrusion. If your truck has a plastic tailgate liner, you may need to trim it to clear the tailgate extrusion, as shown in step 9A of the printed installation guide. Place the tailgate extrusion onto the center of the tailgate. Carefully measure to ensure that each side is at equal distance from each edge of the tailgate. Pay special attention to centering the extrusion, as this is critical to ensuring your roll and lock functions correctly. Once the tailgate extrusion is centered, check to make sure the tailgate extrusion is perfectly level with the top surface of the tailgate. Upon positioning correctly and beginning at the center, attach the five black self-tapping screws into the pre-punched holes at the bottom of the tailgate extrusion. There will be unused holes in the extrusion. Simply space the five screws out evenly. Step 10. Next, you'll reposition the tracks and housing before fully tightening the clamps that were attached in step eight. First, walk to the front of the bed and shift the entire housing and tracks unit back until the tracks contact the tailgate. You may then adjust the unit very slightly forward so that the back of the track caps align with the back of the tailgate extrusion. You'll also move the back of the tracks inward until they almost touch the tailgate on each side. When adjusted properly, it should look like this. This adjustment process is the most critical step in ensuring proper operation of your cover. Step 11. Now tighten the rear clamp so the track sits level and flush to the bed rail. Be careful not to lose your adjustment. Do not allow the tracks to tip up or down. Step 12. Proceed with tightening the clamps, starting with the ones closest to the housing. While tightening, check that the tracks are sitting level. You may find it helpful to lift up on the inner edge of the track while tightening the clamps. Each clamp should be tightened snug, only spark plug tight. Over-tightening clamps may cause damage to the truck's bed rail. Next, tighten the middle sets of clamps. Step 13. Install the remaining two self-tapping screws through the flat surface of the housing and into the flange. This will ensure that the housing stays level. Then rotate the lock to the latched position and remove the plastic wing nut that secures the pull strap. Pull the cover all the way to the tailgate until it latches. Do not allow the cover to roll backwards into the housing as this will damage the vinyl surface. Step 14. Reinstall the lid and lid screws onto the housing. Step 15. Unlatch the cover and allow it to retract into the housing. The cover should easily retract with a light push. If you experience trouble at this step, check the alignment of the tailgate and tracks outlined in Step 10. Step 16. Install the screws and rubber washers onto the cargo bumper. Then install the cargo bumper onto the front of the housing with the slotted holes at the bottom. Step 17. Using a half inch drill bit, drill two holes in the bulkhead and apply your choice of corrosion inhibitor. The holes can be located in the position shown in this video or as listed in the installation guide included with your rolling lock. Step 18. Secure the pull strap to the interior of the truck bed and retract the cover several times to ensure it's operating correctly. The installation is complete. If you have any questions or issues, please call us at 800-952-7655 to speak to one of our installation experts.